fellow La Today Saints, Kenzie Red Show here. It is reaction day. Yep, a reaction on a Wednesday. Back in its regular time slot, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what's interesting about this one is the fact that it's going to be um, a reaction to the internet's best reactions for the Australian Grand Prix from the channel WTF1. Now, why would I be reacting to a reactions video? Well, there's a very specific reason why I have chosen this particular video this week. And I'll explain why later. But nevertheless, let's get into the reactions. Mic check, one, two, here we go. Internet's best reactions is back for 2019. Oh, yeah. Rory Vincent <laughs> on the cameras. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about Australia. <laughs> Sick beats, by the way, Matt. <laughs> There's the intro. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Internet's Best Reactions. It is season three. We are here. F1 cars are back. The Australian Grand Prix has happened. Let's get into your reactions. Before we dive into your reactions, we have some tragic news over the weekend. At Superfast37 comes in with how to start off Internet's best reactions. Hashtag thank you, Charlie. I couldn't agree more. He was a man that yeah. introduced so much safety He's to right. the sport, as well as refereeing, marshalling, speaking to drivers. He did so much, and he will be sorely missed. Yeah. And they, and they did have a moment's silence for not just Charlie Whiting, but also those that were affected by the... Um, uh, Christchurch shootings in New Zealand over the course of that weekend as well. Right, race time now. Here and we go. My goodness me, I was so hyped. I'm still so hyped for this season, but 10 past five, and well, actually no, I got up about 10 to 20 minutes before to prepare myself. Same I here. Kind of went, flew off the covers and I was like, I'm ready for the Australian Grand Prix. Were you? <laughs> oh yes, I was. Especially when... Ah, yes. I'm so happy Sky Sports kept that Brian Tyler music. The new intro they put together for the start of the programmes, I like as well. Right, at Sig, Sid Goob comes in with Bottas in turn one. New beard, new aggression. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. Bottas. That starts. Off the line. Yeah, Absolutely that start though. Fantastic stuff. Takes the lead of the race. And that turned out to be pretty good for him later on. So with Bottas's good fortune, although you could just say that pure skill, there was some very bad luck for one man. And I think you all know who I'm going to be talking about right now. At Mitsukatsu248 comes in with, how can someone be so unlucky? Yeah. How? Yeah. Yeah. It speaks for itself. How can Daniel Ricciardo be so unlucky? He had eight retirements last season and... He ends up losing his front wing at the start of the race. I mean, how? Now, I'm in two minds about this whole kind of incident. Obviously, on one hand, he was very unlucky to kind of dip his wheel on the grass. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he put his car in that situation where the, the service road went down a little bit, then up again. Woo! Obviously, smashed his front wing. It was quite a daring move, but then Ricardo just wanted to send it, lick the stamp and send it. And he did <laughs> work out. <laughs> okay. Now on social media, people love to be like, oh, this aged well in sarcastic ways. You know, things that you know, <laughs> this person's gonna win and they end up getting last. This person was actually at the race and it didn't age well at all. At high underscore I'm underscore Zach underscore says, who let the fortune teller in? <laughs> <laughs> I love how someone's made this sign. Oh God, Danny Rick. Yeah, really that one definitely get, didn't like, age well. Grand Prix. So one of the big rivalries going into 2019 that I've been so excited to watch is Sebastian Vettel versus Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc fanboy! <laughs> sorry, sorry, he, he, he is a big Charles Leclerc fan, but um, people have called him out for being a Charles Leclerc fanboy. And I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just like majority of the internet at this point. Oh, he's a Charles Leclerc fanboy. <laughs> Quiet. And it wasn't the best race for the uh, young Monegasque. At Owen Wyatt173 even comes in and says, is it me or does Charles Leclerc drive a lot like Kimi Raikkonen? 
Oh, that's touched a few nerves, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, what? He had a couple of mistakes in his debut race. Debut and race you Ferrari, say, by the way. Uh, I think you'll find they had to use team orders to not let him through. Not angry, not a bad boy, just passionate. Speaking of Leclerc, we had another moment where it was slightly concerning, to say the least, at Swift Sambi. Did Leclerc just break down? Now, David Croft comes oh. in straight away, not even saying, you know, maybe there's a graphical issue. He just comes in with, Charles Leclerc might have an issue. I'm sat there like, he, come on, I've not got up at 10 to 5 to watch Charles Leclerc have an issue. Turns out it's, it's his transponder. Wow! Don't do that to me, David Croft. Now, this tweet did make me laugh. At the official FNG, it's been eight laps and everybody on Twitter is already a chief aerodynamicist. <laughs> I do really love social media. Yeah, that was brilliant. The best reactionary platform for when you're watching a live event. But loads of people just yeah. sat there on the couch going, yeah, oh, Ferrari have gone, you know, gone for the wrong setup there, or you know, Mercedes have gone for the wrong strategy call. And, you know, they're, they're, very, they're very quick to judge, whereas there's hundreds of millions Judging of pounds. Judging a book by its cover. The, the right people. Although sometimes Ferrari do get it wrong, but that's fine. But there are a lot of chief aerodynamicists on Twitter. Maybe they should apply. Hmm. Now, what I love about Internet's best reactions, some are, you know, some jokes are, you know, quite deep, and you know, you have to really kind of get into it, or you have to be an F1 nut to understand it. Yep. And then you've got at TTG underscore Ollie, McLaren is now a hot chocolate. <laughs> now, signs blowing up, uh, not great signs. Although Lando did get to the end. Carlos, not a great weekend when you compare him to his younger British. Yep. Lando Norris. Uh, not a fanboy, just passionate. At Kenzie Retro. I wanted to react to this specific video this week. I watched this, I actually watched the video last night. And... Yeah. I made all two today's best reactions! I screenshotted this. For something later. Commented, you just made my night. And the comments got a thumbs up and a love heart. And then, would you believe it, that screenshot, I tweeted it to Matt. And he liked my tweet! <laughs> but in all seriousness, Matt, thank you so much for getting me onto Internet's Best Reactions. This, this series is one of my favourites on the channel. I'd love to meet these guys. Maybe work with them one day? Mm-hmm. Anyway, this is why I wanted to react to this video specifically, because I made it into the video! Woohoo! Anyway, where were we? Just, uh, not a fanboy, just passionate. At Kenzie Retro, Hass having flashbacks of 2018 during that pit stop. Yep! Grosjean was sat there, you know, they were... <laughs> and they couldn't do it, and they were... Yep. Just, just still sat there, and, like, <laughs> and then he went away, and then 12, 13 <laughs> laps later, his wheel just fell off. Yep! Again! And then Grosjean was like... <laughs> I think I've got uh, suspension damage. Um, no duh! You can't fool us, bro, man. We saw the replays. <laughs> Ooh, see ya! <laughs> this is the tweet of the century. Well, not century, but definitely of the year. At Crimsonify. <laughs> Australia exists. Grows on <laughs> 10 out of 10. Bang that on. was you brilliant. You have one IBR for Australia. Well, that done. is brilliant. Good job. That was Crimsonify. brilliant. Crimsonify. With Grosjean's wheel falling off, a lot of amazing memes came in. Another one, oh at Racing Jokes. Haas, we will never allow another incident similar to Australia 2018. Haas in Australia 2019. It's rewind time. <laughs> Social media team championship time now. Woohoo! Let's dive straight in to third place. Red Bull Racing comes in with Max Powers onto the podium in Melbourne. And it was more the gif that I really enjoyed. Oh, yeah. That can I just add, not many of the teams had banter this weekend. I don't know if it's just me, and it was really early, and I actually missed all the banter, but I had a good old scroll and couldn't see anything. So apologies for the sub-mediocre 
tweets this week, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. One, One point. point. <laughs> Coming in second place, the reigning champions from last season, Renault F1. Literally our least favourite thing to tweet ever. Daniel's car is wheeled back into the garage. We're having to retire him as a precaution following his incident earlier. Now, the reason why I chose this one is because it was heartfelt and also Danny Rick didn't score any points. So I thought if he scored points in the social media team championship, he would feel a bit better about himself because he deserved it. Two, Two points. points. The winners of the social media team championship for the Australian Grand Prix are... Racing Point F1. Now they're replying to the Australian Grand Prix who said, how good is this? Talking about the massive plane in the sky, but their car's in front. So they said, it's incredible. The plane's pretty cool too. <laughs> Three points. Oh yeah. And that's the standard. a quick ding dong battle during the race, midway through I believe it was. Uh, Here we go. Omar Spen, Hulk versus Magnussen. Suck it. Oh and yeah. Magnussen did not let Hulkenberg through. Kept his elbows well and truly out. Although, for once, I don't think Magnussen was actually that dirty at all. It was actually really good defensive driving. So, hats off to you, Kevin. And Hulkenberg finished seventh again. How many times has Hulkenberg finished seventh in the Grand Prix? It is ridiculous. He may never have had a podium, but I guarantee he is probably... I'm not, I don't know why I'm guaranteeing, because there's a lot of statisticians on the internet. That's not the way to pronounce it, but I still said it. That will tell me that someone else... Statisticians, ladies and gentlemen. But I think Hulkenberg has. Cool. Statisticians. Statisticians. Statist. Right, I feel like there's something I need to address when it comes to Sky F1 commentary. I don't know if oh, I'm wrong, boy. maybe they're wrong, but either way, we're going to address it right now. At Luxleg, all aboard the. Now, is it Giovinazzi or Giovinazzi? I think it's Giovinazzi. Pretty I, sure I, I'm pronouncing it Giovinazzi. But Crofty calls it Giovinazzi. Anyway, all aboard the Giovinazzi. <laughs> <laughs> Toro Rosso, we have Danny Kvyat. I think that's how you say it. I, although I think Crofty was saying Danny Kvyat or Kvyat or what? Kvyat, Kvyat, Kvyat. Goodness me. Anyway, he's back in Formula One now, loving life. I'm, I'm actually quite glad he's back. He's gone through some serious turmoil in his career. Yep. At Skinflake underscore Goat. Great name. Thankfully. Kvyat's first torpedo attempt was a miss. It was a serious dive bomb into Zerbury, wasn't it? There was absolutely no chance he was stopping. So it's yep. good to see torpedo. He's still got that torpedo mentality. Now, would it be Internet's best reactions without including our man, Guido van der Na 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 Guido van der Gaard, van der Gaard, Guido van der Gaard. <laughs> I actually forwarded this tweet to the WTF1, guys, so I'm taking credit for that. Woohoo! God. If I try my best, I might catch Kubica with my catering before the end of the race. <laughs> Kubica, mm, I don't know. I, uh, he was rather off the pace of his teammate, wasn't he? Mm. That's all I've got to say on the matter. Now, this was actually probably my favourite. I know I said one earlier was my favourite, but you know what I'm like with gifts? I'm like, oh, this is my favourite. Now, this is my favourite. This is brilliant. We won't be able to show it in terms of audio because it's copyright, but at Max Lister UK, Drive to Survive Season 2. Oh! You need to check this out. It's brilliant. At Monsieur Awasfi. However, in the world you pronounce that. For second place, lap 56. That was a heck of a battle. <laughs> such a good gift. And who would have thought Red Bull would have been so competitive in Australia, especially Verstappen. Gasly, not so much, but Verstappen drove the wheels off of that Red Bull and almost oh, had yeah. Hamilton, although Hamilton was saying that he had him in his back pocket. It was fine. I'm not so sure. I think Max was pretty close. Are we going to have a lot quicker. title fight between three teams this year? This will be yes, good. Yes, please. In terms of how the that race would be ended, good. obviously Bottas got Hamilton at the start and dominated pretty much the entire Grand Prix. Hamilton had a bit of damage apparently on his underfloor board thing, but who knows, I'm just taking that with a pinch of salt. Do not know how much time that's cost him. Bottas dominated. Max Verstappen nearly got Hamilton. However, when Bottas came over the line at a up will, Ocon trying to look happy for Bottas. It was, it was quite the sight. It was just like... Really happy for you. Oh, I really want your seat, but congrats. Now, a controversial rule change that happened for 2019 was the fastest lap point awarding. But my God, did we have an amazing scrap at the end of the race. It was almost like qualifying, but on lap 57 and 58. At Owen Wyatt, 173, whoever said the fastest lap point was a bad idea has well and truly been shushed.
Don't you just love a Hamilton interview when he hasn't won the race, and especially when he's lost to his teammate? At JVRSRN4, which is like a Wi-Fi code, Hamilton, Valtteri had a great race. <laughs> he's so bitter when he hasn't won a race. I understand he's just got out of the car and he's like, you know, oh, this is really annoying that I didn't win, but you just know. You don't even have to see the race. Just watch a Hamilton interview and you'll know where he finished. Bit of Bantz on the podium as well with, uh, well, not Bantz, it was kind of a little bit awkward, but also Bantz for everyone watching. At Alex underscore Gillen Weber. What the hell did you have for breakfast, Valtteri? Bottas, I had porridge. Now, a couple of posts from Instagram. Blue underscore flags, even though they're with ones, but I'm not going to say all of that. <laughs> Bottas's beard has really... He doesn't care anymore, does he? He's swearing, he's putting the middle finger up to cameras. He's, he is an absolute man unleashed. And I love it. F1 community on Instagram. <laughs> Sandbagging in practice. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even need to read that out. It's brilliant, brilliant Instagram post. And finally, to sum up, at Tom97HD, Mercedes, Ferrari are the team to beat. Even Williams could win in 2019. Mercedes secretly. Who believed it? Who believed the sandbagging? And now it's time for Race Rundown with your host, Matthew Gallagher. We're back. Race Rundown time. I haven't done this in four months. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Vettel, Hamilton, Mike and Ricardo a lot. That's, that's 2018. <laughs> said metal, I didn't even think about it until I said Nineteen, please. Bottas, Hamilton, Verstappen, Vettel, Leclerc, Magnussen, Hockenberg, Reichen, Stroll, Kvyat, Gasly, Norris, Perez, Abwehr, oh, there's different names. I completely forgot there's different names. That was actually quite close. Bottas, Hamilton, Verstappen, Vettel, Leclerc, Magnussen, Hockenberg, Reichen, Stroll, Kvyat, Gasly, Norris, Perez, Albon, Giovinazzi, Russell, Kvyatza! <laughs> Did it! And three retirees were... Grisham, Ricardo, Sainz. And that is it, we are done here for the internet's best reactions. The first race is ticked off. I am so happy Formula One is back. Uh, my life has not been the same for the last four months. So if you want to get involved next time, use the hashtag WTF1 on Twitter and Instagram. And that is it. I'm Matt with WTF1 and we'll see you next time. Second video in a row that's happened. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Anyway. That was, oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. <laughs> oh, man. Right, anyway, that'll do it today, folks. Hope you enjoyed yourself. So if you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latest DCS notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. As always, a uh, previous video on the left. The access playlist on the right. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.